to every day. You know, I, like, like I said, anything, anything that I could experience in NA is going to be easier and better than what I was experiencing on a daily basis being an active act. Good. I'm going to stop that plane. Eight months and four days. Hey, all right. <laughs> Thank God for last night. The rest of this morning, rise. Thank God with grace and his mercy. Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve, and mercy is not giving me what I do deserve. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. How the brothers doing? All right, good, man. All right. I'm Dermot Knight. My partner, Robert Hayes. You know, he's in the, in the spirit, but he's not here in the physical. Together, we call the minds of men. Nonprofit, spiritual organization. We don't deal with religion. Um, I've been on drugs for 20 years. I've been clean for 15 years, but all I got is what? Today. Yeah. Isn't it ironic? It's Friday, June the 2nd, 90 degrees, and we all here, not getting high. Ever hear that? Yeah, first of the month, in here, hot as hell, getting our lives together. When we used to be out there in the back of the squat car, et cetera, et cetera, right? <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know, so he read about change, so we changed it. For those who don't think you're changing, we all change it, all right? Either for the better or for the good, or the worse. Um, woo, we do groups at Keystone, right? And um, out Chester. And the brother right here, um, good brother here, um, getting the norm, right? And the brother Everett. And I like when brothers get engaged with recovery. People, a lot of people talk it, but, you know, he's walking it. Follow me, really want it, all right? So he's out of Keystone, and he's getting his life together. So without no further ado, Let's welcome Brother Everett, yo. Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm nervous. I ain't never did this before. Um, I just came out, of, came out of the treatment facility, treatment facility a couple days ago. And, um, a little bit of my story from the Frankfurt area. Smoke crack, marijuana, um, sold drugs, been shot three times. They ran the streets down all my life, and I got to the point where I was tired of this shit. So, I seen Derek speak a couple of times, and what he was doing, I, what he seen, I wanted. So I was calling him every time I seen him at the meeting, I kept coming up to him, Derek, when I get out this job, I'm going to holler at you. Every week I seen him, Derek, when I get out this job, I'm going to holler at you. So as soon as I got out, I called him, texted him, called him, texted him. And he called me, talked a little bit, told me to come down. I didn't think I was speaking today, but. Fuck it, you know what I mean? We just gonna go, you know what I mean? But I was tired of the life. So I'm saying every, I was tired of faking. So I'm saying I was trying to sell drugs, but I'm using drugs. And like my uncle used to say, a monkey can't sell the damage. And I damn sure couldn't. I was tired of falling. Tired of letting down my family. Tired of not being here. Tired of not, not being the man that I was supposed to be. So I turned my will over the guy, you know what I mean? So I'm trying something different, I'm trying something new. So the way that I was chasing the drug, I was chasing this, I was chasing my man. I'm trying to be the best person I can today because I got kids, you know what I'm saying? I got son, daughter, nieces, nephews. There's people out there that depend on me. And I wasn't doing the shit I was supposed to do because I was out here, you know what I'm saying? Me being out here got me shot. Me being out here made me lose everything. Like, I wasn't, I mean, Listen, man, like, I did everything, you know what I'm saying, from robbing, stealing, stealing from my family, stealing from myself, you know what I'm saying, and then broke laws, let down my family, just all types of mess, you know what I'm saying, and that shit just had to stop. It just came to a point where as though I was so fucked up in the car, my dad's looked in the mirror, and my fucking face sunk in, eyes black, skinny as hell, you know what I'm saying, I just looked, and I just knew, like, this shit ain't for me. I just want a better life and, and try to look for opportunities to do better and be better and, and progress, you know what I'm saying? So as soon as I came out, I tried to hit the ground running. Did a couple of, um, couple of interviews and shit since I've been out. When I leave here, I'm going back to the recovery house because I know that's what I need because last time I, I went in, stayed for 30 days, came right out, bust my head, ended up going straight back. So I said, this time I'm not doing the same shit again. I'm going to make a change, you know what I mean? So the change started. Today, you know what I'm saying? Just change, every day is a change for me. Just to try to be a better person. For the first time, I got to clean the piss in a long time. I don't got to worry about trying to get somebody to pay in the cup for me before I'm, before I'm trying to get a job, you know what I'm saying? So it's just about better living, man, and what I'm doing, y'all can do, you know what I'm saying? And just 
chase this shit, you know what I mean? And don't give up and try to keep focused and follow what this man got, you know what I mean? Like, I, I see him and I see what he's doing, I said, I want that, you know what I mean? And if I can get back and speak and share my story, I ain't really know what the fuck I was gonna say because I didn't know I was coming up here, but I'm just gonna speak from the heart, man, and it's a better way of living, man. And, and Frankfurt is fucked up. So I'm saying, like, you see that show on news every day, everybody, people getting shot, people getting killed. It's a blessing for me to survive, you know what I mean, and make it this far. So that's why I'm here, you know what I mean? And I just want to encourage y'all, man, the same way somebody encouraged me, and get back the same way somebody gave to me. So thanks for letting me share. Amen. I'm going to say y'all thing. 30 leaves. Hey. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right. Um, you know, I like illustrations because illustrations, you know, help identify, help identify what we're talking about. So the mindset, all right? This is negative, this is positive. And these are some ingredients to keep me on a positive, on a negative road to what? Using, all right? Number one, denial. Denial. Anybody in been in a denial? Denial. All right. Who know? Okay. All right. How about when it comes to money? Who said they can handle money? When you get money, do the wrong thing with money. Hey. And guilty of that right there. How about relationships? Hey. Yes. <laughs> who, who get tired of what? Who tired of masturbation? Don't even know I'm what? Lying. Come on. Uh, I ain't about not lying, but I was about uh, having like, drug problems. I kicked the hard for school for music. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you know, this shit ain't no problem, this shit leave. Mm -hmm. And I realized that in school people don't ask me about shit. Mm -hmm. So my answer is drugs, so I was still a drug. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I don't know what you're Okay. Thank you for saying that. Denial. How about avoid it? To avoid themselves, to keep using. Avoid their pain, to keep using. I right. That was my main thing. All right, avoid it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to handle no type. I, I felt as though when I was sober at that time, uh -huh. you know I'm saying I was getting overwhelmed with a lot of heavy pressure, mm -hmm. and uh, I felt like everybody was against me. I didn't feel like there was nobody on my side. I didn't have no support. I was going into depression. And all of that, when I was smoking crack, smoking dope, all of that took that away from me. I, I even, even with me killing myself and making myself even worse mentally, I, 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 it, was a, it was an escape. Mm -hmm. I escaped that moment in time when I was using it because I, just, I couldn't even handle that pain. Mm -hmm. and now, today, I'm learning how to deal with it. Anytime I feel some type of way, I'm able to express myself. I'm able to talk about it and release it. You know what I'm saying? If I can't do it in that way, I'll go to the gym get my frustration off that way. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a substitute um, that using with everything else when it comes to even talking to women. Like, it gives me a positive energy. You know what I'm saying? It makes me feel good about myself because at one point in time, I didn't think I could do any of that. I didn't have that confidence or esteem level to, you know, see self, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm able to like, yo, DJ, like, you're not a crumb anymore, like, you really the shit. Like, I tell myself, even if I'm not the shit, you know what I'm saying, I'm the shit. <laughs> that, that, you know? Because I, I feel like, like, you know what I'm saying, like, if I put myself on a high level, then I'm gonna walk that high level. If I walk that high level, the people gonna see that level that I'm on, and whether they're on that level or not, they're gonna wanna match that level. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's what I do now. Okay. Not cockiness, but being confident. Definitely. Confident. Very good. Confident. Uh, uh, that, that's another thing. Uh, I feel like overconfidence turns into cockiness. Anybody hear that? Overconfident. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you overcompensate yourself because I have to understand where I'm at in my life. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be somebody that's better than me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I'm overcompensating, I don't think I'm the best out there. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm not the best out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm confident in what I do. I'm confident in how I stand, I'm confident in how I walk and how I talk and what moves I make and all that. Even if I lose a battle, I'm going, I'm confident within that battle. Keep putting myself in a mindset like I'm going to win. Even if I lose, and even if I lose, it's still a win because I'm learning from that experience. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what's up, brother. Thanks for sharing that. For fool. Sure. Denial, all right? We'll definitely keep you on the plantation of active using, all right? How about number two, defense mechanisms. Who got their walls up? We got the walls up, all right? Thing is a witness protection program, all right? Because I got trust issues. I don't trust nobody. I don't trust me. So I'm not going to give up the tapes on me because I don't trust nobody. Because y'all don't understand. You, uh, you know, might laugh. You might joke me. It might have problems later. So to prevent all of that, I just keep my mouth closed and talk about foolishness and leave alone the seriousness. So I maximize foolishness by minimize importance. Everybody hear that? Maximize foolishness but minimize importance. Silence of the lamb. Silence of the lamb. All right, verbally constipated. You can talk about everybody else except who? Yourself. Yourself. How about inappropriate humor? Who laugh and joke all of the time? Because you hide in pain. Is that dangerous? All right, you want to talk about that? No. Okay, how you doing? All right, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm going to tell you how to play. Yeah. talk about you. It's okay to talk to girls, but talk about you, all right? Real important. How about program gangsters? Do they come through here? Yeah. You got to them both over here back. Program gangsters. Uh, <laughs> gangsters don't come to me. They ran off fucking hard. Oh, the gangsters don't come to me. They, they, go, they go to jail in the graveyard. Ah, uh, okay. okay. All right. You know this motherfucker. You want to gangster out there? That shit beat you up. Ah! Yeah, ah! 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 Physically strong, but spiritually weak. And if I'm spiritually weak, I don't give a damn how much like a bitch press, a baby elephant, a goddamn Toyota. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but eventually, that's gonna what? Run out. Because spiritually, I'm not praying. I'm not working on myself. I'm lying, I'm dope feeding, right? All those behaviors, right in what? Treatment, and it don't last. So I gotta take that mask off, be vulnerable, get help, and stay clean. Because like the brother said, gangsters don't come here. All right, gangsters don't come here. But I know if you've been in jail, you survived jail, nobody taking that away from you. But jail and treatment don't mix. All right? Some, some things we learn in jail is good for what? Just everyday what? Living uh, situations. But the brain that in here, right, trying to intimidate people, always got the remote control. Listen, first in line for this, and first in line for that. Bucking on beef and trying to intimidate people. Listen. That stuff will get me high, because I'm totally distracted on why I'm really here. Brother man, your hand was up. Yeah, um, I wanted to um, go back to what the like, idea that we were playing about the things we talk about. See, for me, you know, um, I stay with my stuff. Mm -hmm. I was waiting, five years old, nine years old, to be over here like this, right? Uh -huh. And we made that I isolated, right? But, I know that I'm only here through God's grace and mercy. Uh -huh. So with me being here, I ain't gonna waste my time. It's time to do stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, so I try not to get caught up into what's going on, but being here just a short period of time, you don't know what I'm saying. You see the barber shop long enough, you don't get your shit cut. Right. Right? And you know, I'm a realist, right? Mm -hmm. And I speak on what I see, but I keep it. You know what I mean? To myself. Everybody in here, we ain't all in here for the same reason, right? Mm -hmm. And I hate to say it, brother D, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. oh, two or three motherfuckers in here go get high, because they ain't tired. And the reason they ain't tired is because the behaviors ain't 
shame. This ain't jail. If you gonna come here and click up, click up and go to a fucking meeting. Mm. I've been banging out meetings since I've been here. I got a big book, a how to do it book, and all that shit, right? Everybody here ain't going to meet me. Mm. Motherfucking frustrated with going to IOP. Mm. Some of us here, because we didn't work at our bridges with our family, you probably ain't got that bitch that got sex lady. And you, you got your tail in between your legs, that's why you ain't got your own shit. But then you walk around there, right? Like, you complain about everything, and everybody get on your nerves. Nigga, what you doing is waiting to good, get high time. Get the fuck out of the way and let somebody be here that's gonna be here. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't pull each other up on that bullshit. Mm -hmm. you, you can see a brother dying, no way going through something. Just how you doing, though? What's up, bro? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That might do. Right? And I'm at fault too with just coming through the door. Because at 3 o'clock, I haul back. I'm gone. But when I leave here, right, I go somewhere that's reduced to my recovery. Mm -hmm. You know, I go hang out with other recovering addicts at a fucking meeting. Right? See, I don't even go to the girl or my mama, right? Because I ain't do nothing but get a broken promise. Well, I can't get over this time. I'm going to do it this time. People ain't trying to hear that shit. So what I need to do is carry my ass somewhere where I can get some information and continue to save my life on a day in, day out basis. Right? See, I got a lot of gratitude for being here. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know about nobody else, right? I ain't homeless, but I'm homeless and my name ain't on no lease. So I thank God for the day that I'm staying. I thank God for the three meals they serve. Even if it ain't to my liking, I still put that motherfucker in me. Cause see out there, my, my dad consists of a little hubby, a bag of chips, and a snack cake when I could get. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I got that on most days, that's what the young boy was willing to take a motherfucking show. Right? But then you tell me, go get a sponsor, right? But then I got a problem doing that. But I let them young motherfuckers out there to sponsor me. Kill on one knee, going in between the car. You know what I mean? If I could run them African courses like that out there, like the brother just spoke, man, and I can think you, right? That's how I grew up my recovery. The same way I ran the fuck out there, that's how I run it here. You know? And I got a mile with really going my way, get the fuck out of my way. Right. See, it's one thing to be a dressed up garbage can, and it's another thing to go inside and do the inside work, right? And see, continue to go inside, do a daily inventory, right? And when you bring up that motherfucker you don't like, how do you get rid of him? Mm -hmm. You gotta go through that mall, man. And that's the that's recovery right there. Mm -hmm. Recovery ain't complaining, getting lots of danger, being lazy. It, man, you ain't gonna get nothing now if you don't put nothing in. You know, and guess what? This ain't the full way of fuck me. I know myself, but this is where my God has me. Mm -hmm. So this is where I'm at. Go fool, my man. Anytime you want to jump in, all right? All right anytime you want to jump in, it's our group, all right? It's our group. Go fool, bravo, go fool. Defense mechanism, silence of the lamb, verbally constipated. Program gangsters, err. <laughs> number one, uh, inappropriate humor, laughing and joking, right? Because I'm hot in pain. How about another one? Defense mechanism. How about argumentative? Who like to argue all the time? You make great defense lawyers, trial lawyers, because I'm always arguing. I gotta get the last word. I'm always right. Anybody like that? Joe Pesci, remember good fellas? <laughs> he can dish it, but he can never what? Take it. Take it. That's all the mask, all right? So I'm what? Verbally constipated, ego inflated, emotionally insulated, and I die in silence. Mm. Let me say that again. Emotionally what? Insulated. insulated. Verbally what? Constipated. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's big right there, all right? And I die what? In silence. Defense what? Mechanisms. Keep me on a plantation of active addiction. How about emotional termites? Emotional termites, anger, who angry in here? Anger's always a second emotion. Everybody hear that? It's just like, I'm not just angry for no reason. It's a reason why I'm angry. And if I don't get to the exact nature, like he said, find that inner man was causing all my what? My pain. Right? So if I'm mad at God because God did something, he allowed something to happen, he didn't intervene, but it still happened, my anger's towards what? God. So I used to believe and I don't believe. Now anger is what? The byproduct of God. If it's me making bad decisions, 
I'm primary, and my anger comes from what? My thinking. If it's a woman, baby mama, et cetera, et cetera, then woman or mother is primary. My anger is the product of my mother, and I need to address, get honest, go in, do journaling, write, pray, to what? Uproot and substitute those root issues that cause me to be what? Angry, because if I don't, I'll stay angry. Suppress anger, then I explode later. Anybody here like that? Who suppress, then explode? That's suppressed. Is that dangerous? Yes. Without a doubt. A guy from Venezuela, in, in, in Bronze, and he was in Brooklyn, in Bronzeville, and they was, um, some Venezuelans was sitting on a curb. He was drunk, ran a light, and hit 18 guys. Killed eight, but hit 18 guys, and killed eight, his ass doing time. All right? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's real right there, all right? When we can't deal with what's going on inside of us, we usually escape on vices to try to numb the pain. But it's always consequences. So my anger, got to check it. Who's passive aggressive? Who plotting the scheme? Anybody sneaky? Come on. Say it again. <laughs> Okay. Not more like, like I'd rather have a more condescending tone than it be like all oh, over. You know what I'm saying? Like a more turned down tone instead of be always breaking. Everybody here knows what I've had. Mm -hmm. So instead of always playing on that, like, like, very good, brother. Thank you, Shannon. Come on, brother. How you doing? I'm good. I'm How you doing, brother? I'm all right. Uh, I, I, was, you know, I agree with that. Like, you know, some people are passive aggressive, but I just don't see myself as like sneaky. I guess that's a different answer to the court, but like, I don't know what you said. Not condescending, but no more directly verbal. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my type of best impression. Because I used to just like react, like whatever you say, I don't know, I don't know. You see what I mean? But I, since I was probably like, probably like two years ago, I just kind of like let everything go, let everything be. But it is, it's my happen, like it's my happen. But I'm going to respond, that's how that's going to be. And you know that. Yeah, you can see this, if I stand firmly on what I mean, mm -hmm. So I, I was just uh, kind of mixed up in the, in the description of the way you need to pass the aggressive until you said, you know, not part. Mm -hmm. uh, next one is How much time that playing, brother? 15 Hey, all right. <laughs> Uh, it's like like I'm from I'm from um, North, I'm from um, did a lot of time in North Philadelphia, right? Passive aggressive. Say if I don't like my man um, ever, right? I won't tell him I'm a chump. I'm a chump in disguise. I won't let him know that, right? He put his sandwich in the refrigerator with his name on the bag. Guess who eat it? You. I do. So now we have an emergency house meeting two o'clock in the morning over his hoagie, and I'm the one who what ate it. You know what I'm talking about? So I got the whole room, the whole program in an uproar over a goddamn hoagie, two o'clock in the morning. Passive, aggressive. Instead of just saying, yo, just talking like men, say, yo, this is what the problem I have with you. You know, I don't come direct, I come indirect. Yeah, indirect, all right? Thank you for sharing that, all right? Um, anger, how about, the, how about toxic relationships? Toxic relationships, anybody? Got them, trying to stay away from them. If I got toxic, who's toxic living for the woman? Who's toxic to themselves? Okay, all right. Anybody work on that? How do you get rid of that toxicity that lives inside of us? We listening. Come on. <laughs> Say it again. Trial and error. Trial and error. Okay. I'm making sure I don't the same mistakes I did before. Okay. I'm a jealous guy. I don't know about it. That's 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 it. That's
Like he said, I love to have shit on me. Only, you know, I guess, the odd shit on part of the books of me. But even in a situation where I know that like, the female talks to me now, like she, she put it in the track with my skin. It's like, I like the way it happens now, you know, to get under my skin. And it's like, all right. That's what you're going to feel. Yeah, it's done. That's how you feel. Two of you. Okay. All right. Thank you for sharing that. Come on. Um, my child is going to be, be going with me. Um, like the literature said, I take me wherever I go. Back. Right? If, um, if, I go, if I have no stuff in the if I have a mask on, uh-huh. then that right there, that's the ingredient to be angry all the time. Mm-hmm. Then I'm in a situation where I'm trying to fix matters. In control. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to go with the mm-hmm. All right. I use so I go from this woman to the next woman, and it's the same shit. Mm-hmm. So for me today, I work on it like I work on top two through the steps. Okay. Got a spot. Uh-huh. You take me to the bowl out of there. Right. I'm going to fix managing and control. And you need to be in your own shit, fix managing and control. All right. But the biggest shit in on um, he shared with me, like, if I don't love me, I don't fuck I'm gonna love another mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you spoke on it the first time on my tail. Like, I gotta get it, I gotta identify my shortcomings. Once I can identify my shortcomings and I begin to work on this, then I can gradually go into something else. Mm-hmm. See, I understand the day that when I get clean, the first feeling that comes back is from the waist back. Mm-hmm. See, I gotta learn to separate the two. Fuck it ain't love. Mm-hmm. That's just fuck. Mm-hmm. Right? If I ain't loving me, how am I going to be able to love anyone else? And that's including um, my kids as well as my mother. Mm-hmm. Not just dealing in a relationship with a woman, but the way I interact with these men around me. Mm-hmm. Good food. Oh, like Good food, brother. Good food. All right, thank you for sharing that, y'all. How about this right here? Arrogance. Arrogance. Can I get a tie again? Yes, you can. We listen in arrogance. Can I get me high again? Cocky, self-righteous, know-it-all, yeah. close-minded. Tell me how to help me. Bite the hand that feeds me. You know what I'm talking about? Catching the guy short, I'm um, titious man. Forgot how it was out there. Come in here, get some few meals. Yo, blow up and get arrogant. You know what I'm talking about? Get that motherfucker straight up. Without a doubt, right? Arrogance. The disease of addiction. Love it when we want. When we arrogant, and also like it when we want ignorant. Ignorance is expensive. Let me say that again. Ignorance is expensive. Who know what the word insidious means? That's what we suffer from. What we suffer from. It moves inconspicuously, yo. What? And picking up momentum, and it what? It manifests before we even know it. It's progressive. It develops in what stages? It's chronic. I mean, it's what long lasting. Right? It's um, um, it's, um, it's cunning. Meaning it is, uh, it's a gender met through what? Deception. And it's what? Fatal. It want everybody in here at Ready, Willing, and Able in a casket early with the same eulogy that says if they would have just stopped drunk, drinking, drugging, and smoking, they would not be here in this casket dead before they die. The disease of addiction loves it when we arrogant, think we know everything, we don't know what we need to know, and it loves it when we ignorant, when we don't know what we're supposed to know. Arrogant and ignorance will definitely keep me on the plantation of active using. How about stealing? Am I stealing here? No thieves in here? No. I'm, a man, a man, and listen, a man, who ain't, a man who's powerful, who needs socks, he ain't gonna tell you I need socks. He broke and he can eat socks. He's gonna steal them. Not all time. Not all time. Everybody talking about? I, I, listen, I, I, I don't I wanna be shamed. I don't wanna be embarrassed. So my hand will never go up and let the little man know, can I get a cigarette? So then I'm stealing cigarettes. You know what I'm talking about? Because some people don't like rejection, some people don't like to be what? Told no. So he will tell me no, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the streets. I'm gonna take it. And they say, yo, stay out of people's rooms. Cause you want to be guilty by what? Association. Be guilty by association. Stealing would definitely get me high. Who stole people in your mind's sleep? Who stole their peace? Yeah. Who, who, stole, who, stole, who stole things that was real, precious and dear to your loved ones? 
No talking about? Yeah, that's big right there, right? Anybody got to make amends? Anybody got to make amends? Is that important? To make amends, right? All right, how about this right here? How about fear? What are we afraid of? I know we gangsters. I know we OGs. I know we John Wick in here. What are we, what are we afraid of? What's our kryptonite? What possesses us as men? Who's afraid of failure? So you don't try. What about failure you, you afraid of, brother? What about failure that you're afraid of? Got you next. Just like making like decisions in life where I want to go. I mean, like, I don't to stick Okay. So you, where you want to go in life? Yeah. Okay. Come on, brother. I have big problems with, you know, people talking down on me because they have a seat of authority. Uh-huh. I don't like their life. They live. I know sometimes you gotta hear like you do this wrong, but as long as I wait, I wait to do something the right way. Right. I hate so when people try to like make it like talk. Like, I'm stupid. Uh, What's up? Uh, right. Prove it again. Like one, I'm not stupid. And then two, I'm getting paid at another level. Mm-hmm. And the level tone of the conversation told me what was wrong and how to do it right. I can see if it persists, 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 you got a low here. It's still a bit insulting, insult my intelligence. Mm-hmm. And it's not the fact that uh, the fear of failure itself, it's the fact that somebody say something to me in that tone or to get me out of there. Okay, got you. All right, thank you for saying that. Failure, how do you see it? Do you see it as us as failures or we learn it when we fail? I relapsed eight times. I failed eight times to get 15 years. Did anybody hear that? I failed eight times to get what? 15 years. But I learned every time I relapsed, it was a blessing in disguise. When you see failure like that, it's not failing, it's learning. You never know a good one until you had a bad one. Thank God for what? The bad. How many dudes got betrayed by a so-called best friend? My brother told me three things to let you know you got a true friend. Money, women, and pressure. Money won't divide us. Pressure won't divide us. Women won't divide us. But, but some men, it does. But some men, best friends become what? Enemies. Yes. Come on, brother, in your hand. Come on, brother. Where is it? You just already get out of here. 
As he coming out, I gave him my pack. He like already charged. On the crib, I charged. So the cops took the block. He think they were smack. I mean, ain't no lights on or nothing. My cousin comes out. My cousin pull off. Now I'm on the block. They get the cop ready to the block. The cop pull off. I'm on the Now they get caught in two blocks. They get pulled over two blocks ahead. Like from the block where we were at. So they end up getting caught with all the um, my pack, his pack, his gun, his little brother in the car, my cousin. So he gets pulled out. My he's already on the run for a strap. So he gets pulled out of the car, gets the cops his real name, and runs. After he runs, he throws his strap, and he threw a beat at me. Boom. They find that, and there's a problem with the car. He the car, search the car, and he's let them find my strap. So he, he runs up on me, like, a couple hours later, I don't know if the bag or not, I had the gas for That's when we meet up, I got some shit out So, he's like, bro, we gotta take this. I'm like, what? Like, in my head, I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm gonna y'all niggas just try to leave me on the block. But me being me, I'm like, all right, bro. Like, what? We're gonna turn ourselves in and see what we're gonna do. But then, after we, we like, all right, so we're gonna get good. Before we get the door, after we get the door, we're gonna trade ourselves in and we're gonna turn ourselves in. We were on the park, I see a lot of shady shit start happening. I'm like, damn. We was doing a lot of weird shit before I was doing a lot of weird shit. You feel me? So he started running off. I don't know, we just be guarded away, but he still expected me to take that charge. I'm like, bro, you realize I'm going to try to on the block, right? It's like, bro, I'm not taking that. We, and our bomb came from the left. We just were here. And that means you hit the dog, so now it's like, we ain't really got no bomb, bro. I don't know, we, we still fall out. And I see him, like, he's always smoking. And that's my cousin being dead. He was always going to ever be smoking. All right, thank you for saying that, bro. We're talking about fear, right? Fear. Afraid of what? Failure. Who's afraid of success? So we find a way to self sabotage. Afraid of success, so I find a way to self-sabotage. Anybody? Off of dope, back on dope. Out of jail, back in prison. No more crack, back on crack. Stop hustling, back to hustling. Yeah. Have my job, lose with my job. Have my mind, lose my mind. Have my woman, lose my woman. Have my family, lose my family. Find a way to self-sabotage a good thing. Who's afraid of the unfamiliar, so we stay with the familiar, anybody? People, places, and things, that's toxic, that's dangerous, ungodly. I know that well, I know how to die. But I'm learning how to what? Live. Live. And that's sometimes it's difficult to be with what? The unfamiliar, all right? I'm gonna say here, who's afraid of change? They say change we must or what? Who are you holding on to something that you know you need to let go? Anybody, what is it? What are we holding on to that we need to let go if we want to change to get better. You? It's a lot of things, honestly. It's uh, this rebellious uh, nation that I have uh, starting to get used to. I'm kind of hoping that it's not being critical. I'm just going to be hoping for it. 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 Instead of just all flat out hoping myself for it. And that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I ain't heard nobody about myself. Mm -hmm. But it's also like, can I gotta let like, go. Oh, I don't want to let something out of here. That's the big thing. Period. Okay. All right. How much right here, y'all? Self pity. Self pity. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Self pity current artists. You know what they are? They use that as what? Manipulation. They really don't want help. They just want what? A cigarette, sympathy, attention, and I really want to what? Yeah, I really don't want to change. That's self-pity current artists. I regurgitate the same thing from what? Friday to Friday. Same story. His ears get tired. He gets sleepy. He got to go to the bathroom. He hope I have a stroke because they heard it <laughs> already. You know what I'm talking about? 
So I need to so I need to start what? Praying for what? Solution so the lyrics on the record be changed so you won't be hearing the same thing when I start opening up my mouth. How about complaining and blaming? Complaining and blaming, they cousins. Who complaining here? Who complained? Is that, is that, can, that, can that keep me, can that keep me um, hostage? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Can that shortcut my what, my recovery? Complaining about everything. What I'm eating, where I'm sleeping, going to work, getting my check on Friday. You know what I'm talking about? Complaining. Because what? Gratitude is what, been killed by what? Our attitude. Did I get the case of the what? Okay. We'll come after that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that uh, yeah, no. yeah. Complaining. Stop complaining. You complaining? Stop complaining. Who's blaming? Look what you did. You wouldn't shut up. That's why I smacked you. Blaming. And those dudes who are out there selling drugs, they knew how to go to work. Blaming. You know what I'm saying? Try to stay off the hook, but why not staying on the hook to keep doing what I've been doing? Blaming and complaining the cousins, huh? Come on. Real quick, just to show you back. A little grim, you saw my change. I've been in this just since I was 15 or 47 now. Everybody gone. Ain't nobody made it to where the fuck I'm at right now. All the niggas that were squares and all that bullshit, they're the niggas that got the good lives right now. I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get to where the fuck they at. Get the fuck out of this shit now, bro. Because that shit ain't promised, man. All your homies and all that shit, them niggas ain't really got your fucking back. That's 100, bro. I'm just keeping it big with you. My brother's one of the biggest drug dealers in the fucking city. He in a nursing home right now. All the money he had, as soon as he got hit, my motherfuckers thought he was dead. Jewelry, cars, dope, took all that shit. Left him. Mm. <coughs> he can't even get a motherfucker to get a cheese stick right now. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Brother, if you got a chance to get out of this shit and step away from all of it, get the fuck out of it, dog. Mm -hmm. I was in that shit since I was 15, 47 now. Everybody gone. Everybody dead. Everybody locked the fuck up. This is like, this shit ain't got no future, dog. Everybody that was swears and nuts and pussies and all that. Who needs got good lives here? They got some nice houses and nice cars and all this shit in. That fast life don't pay out, bro. So if you got a chance to get in here to change this shit, get the fuck out of it. Get the fuck out of it, dog. Don't turn the fuck back. And I'm pretty sure if you don't got a young boy, you got nieces and nephews or whatever, they look up to you. If you don't change, they're going to follow right behind you and do the same shit that you're doing. Then when you try to go back and tell them, it's going to be too fucking late. So, I mean, you got a chance to just change shit, man, and, and make a difference in their lives. Do it, bro. Step away from that shit. Get away from it. Stay away from it, man. That's a little shit. Thank you, Sam. Good food, brother. Good food, bro. Yes, sir. How about, well, how about thinking errors? Anybody got thinking errors? Who got stinking thinking? How do we clean up our mind when our mind stinks? If you're a Muslim, you should have a Quran. That helps. Other than that, the word of God. That definitely helps. The NA text, mandatory. AA, mandatory. You do you study Buddha, we carry Dharma. You Jewish, the Torah. Books are necessary. Mandatory to change up a state mind. How about resentments? Who hold their grudges? Who hold their grudges? Anybody ever talk about that? Come on, Chris. Always. Always. You know what I'm saying? It's just shit that I did 12 years for to this day. I think the whole 12, to this day, I still got it, right? mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I can't let that shit go. Okay. Is that in the way of you elevating? Huh? Is your resentment in the way of you elevating? No. It's not? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Chris, how much time you got to clean? Eight months. Eight months. All right. <laughs> Depression, they might get depressed. They might get depressed in here. What caused your depression? What caused your depression? Anybody? They might tell them who go home to houses that have no air condition. <laughs> depression. <laughs> you heard my man ever just talk about he had the world and now he got what? He can't even buy a cheeseburger. Don't tell them how we used to be. Depression, right? I know, I know, I know kingpins in dolphin lines. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about who they used to be. That's not who you are today. Can cause a lot of what? Depression. A lot of depression, right? Yeah.
depression. Depression. How about death of loved ones? Can we get depression with death of loved ones? Very be good. How about our kids might not be acting the way we act, and we don't want them to act the way we act, but they're not listening because we didn't listen. Depression, all right? Can depression get us high again? Yeah. We'll be good. So what's the solution to not get high when we get depressed? What's the solution for depression not to get high this time? Call somebody. That's a Bible. Very good. Talk about it. Call somebody. Very good. How about journaling? Do that help? Journaling. Do that help? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's what's up. Hey, we got 10 minutes. to stay jail free, drug free, stress free, supper free, practice spirituality. Number one, prayer. Who pray in here? Do you feel better when you pray? Yes. Very good. Who remember foxhole prayers? Foxhole prayers. All right. Now our prayers are what? Sincere. How about patience? Who working on patience? Why is that important to be patient? Anybody? Why is patience important? We listening? Why do we got to be patient? Anybody? If you're not patient, something bad can happen. What you say? For me, it's a virtue. Patience is like you spoke about the last time you were here. You were here. I ain't going to make patience for time and time. Uh-huh. You know, uh, I, I have to be patient this time. Um, I was wondering like the microwave. I'm going to put my shit in the microwave and get back instantly. Uh-huh. Anything going to happen is what we're looking for. That's right. You know what I mean? Well, D, you ain't on my time. Uh-huh. You know, you just said something about a sincere prayer, right? Uh-huh. And do something different. Uh-huh. And get something different, right? Uh-huh. So for me, that ain't the time. I'm just leaving it on the God of my understanding. Mm-hmm. And that's my fact. Being, being in this program right now, I'm working on patience and tolerance, right? Because I want to be out there, mm-hmm. but I don't want to rush out there and crack my motherfucking head. I would like to rush out there to come back to a place like this. Yeah. And I might not make it back. Mm-hmm. You know, so what I try to do on a day and day basis, I just bring my own tape, man. Very be good. I just listen to my own shit. Very be good. All right. Play your tape all the way through. Come on, brother. Yeah. So, uh, patience is important. Patience has a hand in everything. Yeah. Even if you want to change. Patience is literally everything. Mm-hmm. If you have no faith, you're not going to be able to get nothing done. Without a doubt. Anybody hear that? How about the guy? I used to always hear it get greater later. Who used to hate? I used to hate hearing that. It get greater later. Give me later now. <laughs> but later never came now. You got to wait for later. You understand that? Hold on, y'all. Because we don't, we lose patience, we become impatient. And sometimes we crash and we burn. How about humility? You working on being oh perseverance, perseverance. Yo, riding out the storm. Anybody hear that? Who got drug dreams? Ride it out. Who feel like getting high? Speak about it. Expose it. Persevere. Who helping one hundred percent? Not a reason to go get high. Somebody sick in hospice. Not a reason to go get high. All right. My girl betrayed me. She don't want me no more. She want my best friend. Not a reason to go get high. Anybody hear that? I don't give a damn what's going on. From A to Z, I don't get high. I persevere through all storms. Real important. Come on, Baba. Um, I just recently had a little bit of three days ago. I just ended up falling in. So, and here, like, they, not saying, like, it's not a bad place to go. I literally had a problem with, like, controlling my everything. So, with the situation, I'm not just people, so I felt like they were trying to control me, like, what was going on. And I'm like, bro, we're really standing in y'all boundaries, but we got y'all just in there. So, at that point, I'm like, what the fuck happened? I know if I smoke, I'm going to forget about all this shit. And I'm going to smoke some weed, I'm going to be cool. Because that hair and laugh at me. And I'm like, I realized it was like, I seen one of my peers high. Uh, Pretty speaking, he was there. I seen him high off me on his ass back. And I used to be out there high and shit, like functioning. But I know from the outside of the window, I was like, I was just functioning. So that's not what I'm going to do. I don't know how to control my own body. 
okay? How about hum humility, being humble? Who works on being humble today? Asking for help, is that important? Yeah. Very good, very good. Gotta ask for what? For help. No man is a what? An island. We all need help. How about honesty? Who still wanna get high? Get drunk, shoot dope, pop pills. Be honest. This is not a witness protection program. I'm not a cop, all right? I'm not wired, all right? Give up the tapes. And guess what? When we hide cravings, it becomes reservations. When we hide cravings, it become reservations. Then we look for an opportunity to go get high. Your hand was up, you still want to get high? Yeah. What's stopping you? What's stopping you? Me. Like, um, I just don't want to go through the fucking that same process, like, you know, like, you know, my kids and my uh, family, like, 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 they started to talk, like, to me right now, like, my youngest daughter, she, like, she didn't want to talk to me for the longest, so now she's all to me and everything, so, basically, I just don't want to, you know, plus, I don't really like things they can happen. I don't know, but yeah, sometimes like, I think that I can, like, I can still get high. Okay. But just for the day, you don't feel like using? Just for the day, I'm not going to use it, right? There you go. Just for the day program. What's your name? Uh, Tito. What's up, your name, Tito? Uh, Tito. Hey, all right. <laughs> Stay in prayer, stay patient, persevere through all storms. Stay humble, ask for help, stay honest. Recovery don't begin until I get honest. Forgiveness, do it, is it for me or for them? Yes. Easy said then what? Mm. All right, how about purpose? Who know their purpose? I say this every time I come here, just about every time. That's important. When a man knows his purpose, he can't be bored. Is that true? Yep. This is my purpose, this is my craft, this is my high. Right here, helping people. See how the brother came out to help out? This might be right here, his purpose. You study center, who are told the young boys, not even 18, gun charges, attempt murder. You study center, 48 in Hammerfield. Find your purpose, you find your passion, and you never work again. In the Northeast, they got a high school for drug addicts, kids that's on drugs, it's called Bridgeway. In the Northeast, kids that's on drugs, it's called Bridgeway, that's what it don't feast. Find your purpose, you find your passion, and you never work again. How about this right here? Welcome and embrace rejection. Welcome it and re embrace it. Rejection. Who's getting better with rejection? Being rejected. Is that important? You are? Welcome it and embrace it. Come on, brother. Yeah, yeah. By the wall, yeah. Yes, sir. Wow, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's a little self. getting better with rejection. Uh, many of you. I'm gonna say no. I understand that. I say no. I gotta say no too. Most of the time I don't. So I see if that is another reminder. Something to say no. Very good, brother. Thanks for sharing that. Boundaries are so important. How about faith? Who got faith in life will get better? Who got faith in life will get better? Faith about works is what? Dad. My man right here. How you doing? What's your name? Who? Will. How you doing? How's your faith? Is it strong or need to get stronger? Very good. All right. I'm going to sign me a clean, Will. Hey, all right. And the last, and the last one, the most potent one, the most powerful one, that we got to keep this in mind when we leave out of here, when we sign up because it's Friday and it's 90 degrees and God knows what's out there, right? We got to stay strong. We got to what? Love ourselves. A man who loves himself, what do you get high again? Love. Very good. Hey, right here, that. Let me ask you this. Who been tempted? Who had tempted? had an opportunity to be tempted and you passed the test since you've been clean? You know what I'm talking about? You might find drugs on the ground. You know what I'm talking about? You steal and somebody got the keys in the car to go get a loaf of bread. That was an opportunity to go what? Get crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Who doses higher than they need to be? Anybody got high doses that's higher than they need to be? Can't hold a council, falling out of chairs. Okay, all right, that's cool. All right. Nobody can disrespect their medicine, their meds. All right, okay, that's good. All right, can we what? We love ourselves today. All right, being honest, staying clean, staying focused, helping somebody else out. All right? These elements right here will definitely keep you what? Clean. 
and I will never return back to the plantation of active music. Brother Man, you got some words for the brothers? Uh, today I'm just fighting for my life, man. I just want y'all to do the same. Most of y'all got more time than me, so I'm trying to be like y'all. Because I'm, I'm looking at the yard right now. So I'm saying I'm just trying to be right and be right. Now. What y'all doing is what's keeping me going. Because what y'all got, I'm trying to get. So just stay focused, man. And keep, up, keep up the good fight. All right, y'all. Yeah. 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 No food, bro. We love y'all. Everybody good? Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. Next week, new topic, same passion. Who woke us up? Yeah. 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 To accept the day we cannot change. The courage to change the things we have. And the wisdom to go to bed. God's will, not ours, we learn. Amen. Oh, shit, my guy. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>